Bharat CSA Certification Training brought to you by Skillpedia, skillpedia.co, Transforming Talent. A lot of courses offered by the website. You can check the courses available. Various based on cloud computing, databases, Linux, core technologies, DevOps, monitoring. All these courses are available at Skillpedia. That's about the Skillpedia. Let's start the lecture. So this is RHCSA certification lab setup that is getting ready for the installation. What you need to have the prerequisite before you start the installation thing. As I said, this is the part one. This is section one where we are talking about Red Hat certification introduction. This is a five lecture series. We have done two. Uh, that is the introduction and objectives of RHCSA. We have already done that. Prerequisite for RHCSA, we have done that. Then this is session three. Lab setup, getting ready for the installation is covered in this session. And in next session, we'll be doing CentOS 8 installation for the lab setup. Agenda of this session is installation requirements, virtual and physical systems, environment for the practice labs, baseline installation, memory need for our labs, system for different roles, user of use of tester and outsider systems, installation options, boot media, and create your media and get ready. That means by the end of the session, you will be ready for the installation. Installation requirements. Red Hat provide pre-installed systems for its exams. You need to set up systems with a network installation, which means you will have a system ready where the media is installed and then you will be working in a local machine. You have to install Linux on your local machine from a remote Linux repository. So this is a remote machine and this is your local machine and you are going to install on this machine based on network. On a pre-installed system, you need to know how to set up network installation. That is because you will be installing from a remote location. So you need to know how to do network installation on a KVM based virtual machines. You need to create three virtual machines for the test purpose. For such purpose, 100 GB of free space on a physical system would be sufficient. If you have it, you are good to start. Before installing RHL 8, it may be helpful to review what is known about the latest RHCSC and RHCE exams as described in the Red Hat blog announcement available at this URL. Let's look at this blog which is always available and latest updated information is available on this blog and it's worth going through this blog. For nearly 20 years, Red Hat certifi uh, Certified Engineer Certification Programs has certified IT professionals around the world who are skilled, proven and ready to take on projects that address evolving technology challenges. This is about that. So what is changing? That's important for us to note. What is changing? Currently, RHCE is a Red Hat Certified Administrator, RHCSA, who possess additional skills knowledge and abilities required in data center services. In the updated program, we are shifting the focus to automated installation of Linux administration tasks using Ansible automation. And we will be changing the requirement for achieving an RHCE credentials using Ansible based installation. Ansible, as you can see from my DevOps trainings, uh, I have a separate program dedicated on Ansible where I talk about how to install, how to provision, how to configure machines using Ansible. With the upcoming release of uh, RHEL Enterprise Linux 8, we will be offering a new course and new certification exams. Red Hat System Administrator 3, that is Linux Automation and RH294. This course is designed for Linux system administrators and developers who need to automate provisioning, configuration, application deployment, and orchestration. You will learn how to install and configure Ansible on management workstation and prepare management host for automation. This is a new course, uh, Red Hat System Administrator 3. This is the extra module for this. Then Red Hat Certified Engineer Exam EX294. The exam will focus on the automation of Linux system administrator administration task using Red Hat Ansible automation and shell scripting. 
Reddit certified system administrators or RHCSAs whose status is current who pass the, this new exam will become RHCE. What is not changing? One thing that we want to assure you that this is not a complete redesign of the program and RHCE will still be earned by having first pass RZ certified system administrator that is EX200 and then passing RHCE exam while still current as an RHCSA. In addition, Reddit Enterprise Linux 7 based RHCE exam that is EX300 will remain av available for one year. Uh, that is all the date is already gone. What are differences in the new version versus old learning path? There too much to explain in one blog post. We will provide in-depth look at the learning path here. So let's look at this. And this is the learning path. Program in programmatic frequently asked questions. So let's go back. Current RHCE, aspiring RHCE, and this is available. Uh, you know that was old was available till June 2020. So we are already in the new version. So read this blogs available at the official Redwood website for this. Reddit provides pre-installed systems and question prescribed presented electronically. You don't have to use a full DVD on every system when installing RHCL 8. Every system is installed from the same repository, usually faster than those from the physical DVDs. We are talking about advantages of network installation. Why do we need installation from network? Why not using from the hard disk or DVD based installation? It becomes especially powerful when combined with kickstart files and a pre-boot execution environment that is PXC environment. All you need to do to install RHL 8 is a boot system, boot a system, automatically download the appropriate kickstart file and after a few minutes you will have a complete RHCL 8 ready machine. Virtual and physical systems. Virtual machines can't stand alone, that's the point. They require some connection to a physical system. Even when you say bare metal virtualization solution, that was built from specialized version of uh, Linux kernel, which act as an operating system on the physical host. Because this is impossible, the layer cannot be changed. We have physical, on the top of that we have operating system, that is second layer. Whether you are using this operating system as a part of the hypervisor or you are using it as an independent operating system, but operating system has to be there. That's the important point. We are talking about the hardware layer, this is hardware uh, and on the top of that we have, after that hardware we have the operating system, even it is a, whether it is the power of hypervisor or directly. It is possible to install multiple virtual systems on a single physical system and it's also possible to over commit RAM and other resources on the from the of the physical system. There is no real difference whether the installation is performed on a physical or a virtual system as far as the installation part is concerned. So when you start installation, there is no difference at all. You can actually uh, do the installation uh, on a virtual machine or the physical machine and the steps are exactly the same. Environment for our practice. The baseline RHEL 8 system I will be using is relatively simple. RAM for the virtual machine will be 4 GB, disk requirement uh, 20 GB virtual disk and total number of disk will be 3, 1 for the installation and 2 for the future needs for LVM setup. Space distribution. Some of the space will be configured as regular partitions. The remaining space on the hard drive will be left empty for configuring during the lab exercises as logical volumes. Two additional virtual disks of 1 GB each are included to facilitate the post installation configuration of logical volumes. The 20 GB hard disk and the 14 GB boot partition provide plenty of room for RHEL 8 software. If the space is limited on your computer, you might go as low as 8 GB of the virtual disk or skip the full disk allocation as long as the swap space is also appropriately limited and configured. Baseline installation. The baseline installation, minimum installation of RHEL 8 does not include a GUI. Red Hat provides a pre-installed system to reduce the time required for the exam. It suggests that system provided by Red Hat include the GUI. Memory uh, needed for our labs. The amount of RAM to allocate is more complex 
especially on a virtual machine. For my lectures, I will be using VM with 4 GB of RAM comfortably enable, to comfortably enable GUI illustrations for the RHEL installation processes. The over commit of RAM allows me to set up three virtual machines with 4 GB of RAM each on the physical host with less than 16 GB of physical RAM. Some RAM on the virtual machines will remain unused available to the physical host system. So my machines are going to be these. First machine will be server 1. This is going to be my main server to practice with the labs configured as server1.example.com on the network 192.168.122.0 network. It will have a fixed IP address of 192.168.122.50. Then tester 1 machine, the secure shell server that supports remote access configured at tester1.example.com on the network 192.168.122/24 cider range network this may include servers for client testing such as a domain name server it will have a fixed ip address of 192.168.122.100 then there will be another network another system on another network workstation on third ip address configured as outsider.example.com some services should not be accessible from that workstation with a fixed IP address of 192.168.2.10. That is a different network. They are 122 and this is 2. So this is on a different network. The invisible th system is our physical machine. There is also another implicit fourth system in this network, the physical host for the virtual machines. We will configure some services used by other nodes on this machine. When multiple networks are configured, that host will have virtual network adapters that connect to each network. I have set up the system named server.example.com, that is my physical machine. Take a decision for lab setup. You can change the names and IP addresses associated with each of these three systems and the fourth one. For example, server1.example.com system. It is designed, it is designated exam system, which will be used for exercises that address actual Reddit exam requirements. For convenience, we have also set up some RSE services on physical host machine. For example, FTP server and Apache server to provide network repository for network based installation. I have set up that. I have. Uh, put them on my physical machine or the physical system. Use of tester and uh, outsider systems. The tester system can be used to verify the configuration on the server system. The Reddit exam assumes that you may connect to a system as a client to server such as uh, Samba and LDAP. They also assume that DNS server is configured with appropriate host name and IP addresses. Finally, the outsider system is essentially a random system from external networks such as the internet. And that is the purpose of uh, the tester machine and the outer ma outsider machine and the physical machine, the use of these machines. Appropriate security setting means that some services which are available on the server are available from the tester should not be available from the outsider. So appropriate security settings would mean that some services on the server machine won't be accessible to the outsider on the outsider network. Installation options. The installation of process is opportunity to learn more about RHL 8, not only boot media, but logical volumes that can be configured after installation is complete. Boot media, the sim smallest, uh, simplest option is to boot it from the RHL 8 DVD. Other methods, boot from RHL 8 binary DVD, boot from USB drive containing RHL binary DVD image, boot from a minimum RHL boot CD, boot from USB key containing minimal uh, RHL boot CD image or boot from kickstart service, uh, server using PXC network boot card. The last three options generally assume that you are going to install RHL over a network because the PXC boot uh, this is required that uh, you know you have to have the PXC server available for network based installation so that it can be it is booted automatically. Create your media and get ready 
To create a boot USB drive containing a full RHEL8 DVD image or a flash key with a minimal boot CD, download the appropriate ISO file from the Red Hat customer portal the way I demonstrated in my first lecture. Then you can write that image to the USB drive. If you are using Linux, then you can use the command uh, dd that is disk dump input file name of the image dot iso output file dev sdc assuming that your device sdc is your pen drive and block size is 512k be careful if dev sdc is a drive with data these commands will override the data all the data on that drive so make sure that your pen drive is empty that's all for this session thank you so much for watching bye bye